So I wanted to talk about the differences between the calipers. This is a cyclocross bike, but this could just as well be a road bike, a gravel grinder bike, whatever, um, or slightly hybrid. But uh, this is a 2015 frame. It's a red line. It's a Conquest, I believe. <clears throat> so it's got the post mount style starting from the frame. So we got this raise up of material here from the frame, uh, barely raised up here in the front. And then, so that has to fit that type of caliper. So the caliper is gonna be called a post mount, which is basically looking like this. This is not mounted. This happens to be just a cable TRP. This one's a Shimano hydraulic. And then the other style is gonna be this guy right here. So this is your newer style, your typical road uh, style, probably for the newer, uh, I'm not sure what year they changed, could be uh, 2017, 18, I don't know. But uh, this is a flat mount style rather than a post mount style. So the post mounts uh, still the same, the bolts are coming in from the top, boom, just like that. Same with this, we got two holes here. This actually has a, uh, a bracket or a spacer depending on which way you flip it. Going forward, it's gonna be built for a 160 size diameter rotor. Take this off, there's two bolts underneath, turn it around, and it's got an arrow pointing that way. That's gonna be for a 140 rotor. Um, so <clears throat> on this particular bike, they built it for a 140 right off the bat, right off the frame. So from the frame material, this is built for 140 size rotor diameter. So I can just bolt up this post style mount caliper directly to it and it's going to fit no problem now if i decide to go to a 160 diameter rotor which is going to be much wider then i'm going to have to use a spacer take this off and then put a spacer which is going to raise this up because we got an extra 20 millimeters that we've grown so now we need to raise that up just a bit so but so the newer style is just meant to look a little more sleeker i believe um, I mean, it hasn't changed that much in my opinion. You go from uh, slightly rising the post mount here to just being completely flat. So direction wise, yeah, this would go this way. This little rubber cap here, that's where our hose would come in. Bolt here, bolt here. Right over here we have our, our bleed nipple. Rubber cap comes off, turn the bolt, we're gonna open it, quarter turn. Right inside there we have our caliper, um, I'm sorry, our brake pads. Right now we got the spacer inside there and just as a view from the other side here. So here's some information I had to find out the hard way. So I originally had the flat mount style brake caliper. Found out that it's not adaptable to a post style mount bike. So whether it's the your rear brake or your fork, your fork might have this style as well with the post mount where it just has the rising material. Uh, they don't, do not sell a spacer, which would have been the most easiest thing to do, is buy a basically spacer slash adapter that would allow this to fit on the post style mount. These holes are almost identical, except they're off maybe half a hole length. So these holes do not quite line up with this hole here. So even if there was a bracket, um, somebody would have to make something very custom for this. So basically they have to go out and purchase the appropriate caliper for this style, which is a post mount style caliper to a post mount here. And then this one here, I can only use this on a newer bikes that have the flat mount. So the area is gonna have no rise, it's just completely flat. And you probably may have some bolts, one or two bolts entering from the bottom of the frame coming up and then attaching here. And Shimano does a lot of different hardware. You see a lot of different safety items, maybe a wire. Um, one of the holes will, the bolts will have a hole through it. There's actually a small hole through here. Wire goes through, goes through the bolt. And that's just to keep the bolts from, if they do come loose, they're not gonna unscrew and lose a bolt. It'll just get loose. You'll feel the caliper kind of jiggling, let you know, hey, something's wrong. And then uh, stop and pull over. So if anybody does see anything or has an idea um, or sees anybody offering that adapter that's gonna allow a flat mount style caliper to go to a post mount style frame or fork, um, go ahead and leave that in the comments. I'm sure that'll be helpful for other people. Um, take out some headaches for a lot of people as well.